Hello and welcome back to Pyre. I'm Lazy Bones, and well, we're here now. The Downside Prairie. Oh yeah. Oh. That's a. Uh, let's continue. You arrive in Downside Prairie, where the road ahead is forked. There is a lack of consensus about which way to proceed. <laughs> I'm telling you, we ought to take the Northern Pass. Got an associate holed up in Hollow Root. I've got to pay a visit to Besides. I've got to pay a visit to Besides. <gasps> Hollow Root, the northern route to the Ridge of Gaul, goes through a small exile encampment. Every so often, tempests come and scour away the huts. Uh, and hovels, but they always crop back up. <laughs> Fie on your associate. Best we ha head to Bloomin Pool and avoid attention. <laughs> and get stuck in a bog while we're at it. The dispute continues as Hedwin listens for a while. Is this the same description? He wanders the downside in search of a way to regain his freedom and return to his home. Excuse me. What if the reader settled this? He marks the way we get us there. If these rites are meant to test our faith, then we'd best learn to trust the reader's instincts on our path. No second guessing him along the way. Can we all live with that for now? Yeah, sure. Calderas. If necessary. Vistalium. Then it's settled. Just point the way, my friend. The stars guide us through you. Oh, you may now choose a route toward your goal at certain juncture junctures. Maybe options. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Dry throat. Hmm. Oh. The northern route to the Ridge of Gaul goes through a small exile camp. And we can know someone here who owes him. Uh, Jadariel thinks she can find bare flora here. Huh. Hmm. This route looks a lot safer than this route. But, I think uh, I want to go the more dangerous route for some flora. Let's go here. I'm going to sip on some agua. Dariel offers to show you around Blooming Pool after she notices you staring at the bogs and vegetation near the wagon. Soon, something catches her eye. Sugrena. Observe, this shall pay for half our trip. You found a black bloom. It is quite valuable. Fantastic. for half our trip not too bad the black wagon grinds to a stop at the base of the ridge of Gaul the others ask you to assist with making preparations for nightfall and the commencement of the rite. oh no <gasps> ridge of Gaul according to the stars the next rite shall soon commence here the fossil remains of the serpent titan slain by Gaul Gaulath Fanian, yet loom over those living in its shadow. Oh. Commence the right! Page revealed the first exile. 
black wagon. You're moving makeshift home in the uh, press Y anywhere to check inside. Okay, press Y anywhere to check inside. So I guess I have to click on this to commence the right, huh? She seems to have something on her mind. Interact to speak with her. Rita, Greentail here was just complaining how you opted not to take us to Hollow Root. He is an optimistic and well-connected cur, still clinging to his once comfortable lifestyle. You get it, aunties? What? And violate our anti-second guessing pact? Nah, I was only saying how our chums gonna have to keep on making tough calls. Besides, just making sure we got something to pawn off at the next slug market we find. Slug market? Crude trading post found in the downside. Commonwealth contraband sometimes finds its way to the downside, where it is traded and sold. And we have... Not let us fo- Now, let us focus on the task at hand. We have reached our destination, and have much left to prepare for tonight, before tonight. The two of them soon go about rummaging through the rem remnants and the books strewn about the wagon, leaving you to your own devices. Oh, what's this? Drive Imp? Creatures such as this must have been bred to push the black wagon along. Huh. Ah. Family portrait. Nearby. A reasonable likeness of a younger rookie with his mother and uncle. Are we sure it's his uncle? I guess let's, uh... Commence the right. Uh, did we read this? You know, perhaps the thrice cursed name of Soli Soliam Mur, the Emperor of Sahar, the first exile in May Liege. In my liege. This chapter concerns him and those who found him in the downside. Each of us was sent to take his life, and such was the hatred for him in and around his country. Yet we found in Salem Mur a man transformed, a body, mind, and spirit, a man deserving of much more than mercy. In time, he named us all his scribes, and he became the eighth. It is my greatest honor to honor now to share with you his deeds. To know his story is to know the rights. Emperor's Fall. Ah, a history of Soliam Mur, the first exile, and the foremost of the eight scribes. Continue your journey to reveal more pages. What the heck do I do now? Edwin's cooking tins. Uh, what passes for cooking supplies in the downside? Edwin does not. Oh, does most of the cooking. Checking the surroundings. Right. Uh, let's. Common room. Your fellow exiles living quarters are functional but little else. In the common room, you may review various notes and observations about your fellow exiles and their respective paths toward enlightenment in the rites. Oh, oh! This is new. Hedwin, Nomad, Enlightenment, Glory, Presence, Quickness, Hope, the 
free spirit. He wanders the downside in search of a way to regain his freedom and return to his home. Uh, writes powers, casts, throws his aura in a straight line. Oh, so this is okay. Race, nomad, outrider, everything else unknown. Observations. He is the one who nursed you back from the brink after finding you in the downside. His genial manner suggests that life in exile has not yet broken his spirit. He wears a bronze clasp identical to that of Jodario. Ah, I, mean, I, can, I cannot. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Suggesting the two of them may have met before their exile. He has not yet revealed what he did to earn his sentence. Demon, huh? Hmm. I would have guessed goat or ram. She seems to be responsible for the black wagon's security. Her features suggest she has lived in exile for much longer than the others. Her grim outlook and the fact that she still wears the bronze clasp of the Commonwealth blood border suggests a military background, though what she did to earn her sentence you do not yet know. Hmm. She is a grim, long-time resident of the downside, grown accustomed to surviving there. Veteran. Okay. The fast talker. He is an optimistic and well-connected cur- uh, We read that. Observations. He seems to be the most well-connected of the masked wanderers who found you and knows something of the land. He has a rather optimistic disposition and his ostentatious clothing suggests a lucrative background in the mer mercantile business. Even still, you do not yet know for sure what he did to earn his sentence. Very informative. That's the way up to the wagon's drive imp. You observe the ladder leading to the locked enclosure above the cabin. The wagon's centrifuge must be up there. It drives imps stare down. It's drive imps stare down at you with big wet eyes. Okay, so I don't think there's anything in here for us to do. How do I commence? Oh, I click this. Uh, you reach the celestial landmark. Now get everything and everyone prepared. Alright, I guess let's get the first right commenced. As darkness falls, your fellow exiles stand together, clad in the remnants of the rites. The preparations are set, however, everything is still and calm. Soon, they grow restless. Keep telling you there's nothing here, but a bunch of idiots we are. If we travel all this way for nothing. I don't think we did. Look up. Ooh. Mm hmm. Screen shot the hell out of that. Yeah. The goal of each right is to is extinguish the adversary. Well, got the gist. The stars align at last. You reach the ridge of Gaul at the appointed time, and your triumvirate is ready. Your adversaries in the rights this eve shall be the accusers. Whose ever pyre yet burns once the other is extinguished shall step closer to freedom. Now let the rites commence. Uh oh. Oh no. I suck at this. Uh. Alright. The stars are aligned and your pyre burns bright. Across from your companions appear several others also clad in remnants, your adversaries in the rites. Everyone ready? 
Kadigra. Let's hope so. Be still, we have a visitor. The one whom she refers to steps forward. At least the night wings grace us with their presence. I see that the reports of their demise have been exaggerated after all. Even I was beginning to think you were gone for good. Nobody moves, save for the man brought, robed in gold, who unfastens his mask. Surprised to see old Lendell again? I trust you remember my face, though you must have assumed never to see it again after last time. Lendell? He is the apparent leader of the exile Triumvirate you encountered at the Ridge of Gaul. Never had I come to close to so close to freedom, only for you to dash my hopes. Now I and the accusers share a pay that affront. He shoves his mask back on and takes position with his comrades. It is time. From the shadows, you clutch your book of rights and focus on the task at hand. Oh boy. Alright, who am I Begin. moving? No. There. Here. The that ore guy. Is loose. Huh? Ha ha! The accusers underestimated you? Yeah! There. The orb! Uh. Stand guard duty. Right there. How do I blast them again? The orb, take it. Uh. Another banishment. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So, Lendell. No, I shall not accept defeat from you again. Hear me, accusers. Stand your ground. Let your auras boil and rage. It seems that you have flustered the accusers. Uh oh. We have rattled them. They mean to draw us out. Then we'll just have to run more circles around them. Have you any Hope idea to fling what that orb into did pirate. to deserve his exile? Hmm? Do, 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 do. <laughs> A daring display. Flinging the orb into the flames like that. Oh. Oh. You elude banishment using such tricks. Mm. Yes. Mm. Ah. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, so close. Be gone. No. Ah. Dang. No stand guard, stand guard. Quite the close call there now. Bye. Ah, uh, he gets me right before I. Ooh. Uh, gets me right before I got to throw it. Oh! Get my fast people to go. What? Oh, I caught it. Haha! 
Aha. I want to have my full group with me. Merely a glancing blow. Ah, <laughs> I thought I could run behind it. An opportunity. Ooh. Go, go. Ah. No, no, no. I need my fast team. Too bad for that one. <laughs> Oh, damn. Come on, come on. Jump. Oh, that's dang. Switch my player. Damn it. These controls are still a little tough. Thank you. Oh, ho. Whew. So far, they haven't scored on us at all. No! What happened there? And it is done. <sighs> that was fun. You have I like that. Rejoice then in your single fleeting victory. Oh yeah. <laughs> Landell, your deceit may have earned you hollow, a hollow victory, but know this. The accusers will not forget your wickedness, and when next we meet, you will rule the day. Accusers, the accusers, an exile. Oh, we read this already. Never mind. Bask now in the wisdom of the scribes. Yay! The exile Jodariel has gained enlightenment. <gasps> hmm. Only the enlightened can regain their freedom. We have withstood worse nights than this, though few as strange. Choose a mastery for Jodariel. Long stride. Relentless Vigor. After banishing an adversary, Jadariel instantly recovers all her stamina. After using her rush to lunge forward, Jadariel can rush again. Right after. Or right away. Same mini. Ah, boon of the First Exile and Sins of the Fallen Emperor. Rites Mastery is enhancing a demon's strength and physical prowess. Rites Masteries, enhancing a demon's spirits, and sheer force of will. The fallen Emperor Mur moved past his many failings as a man, achieving selflessness in exile. Uh, as he fell into the downside, so I'm Mur understood at last the consequences of his hedonistic reign. Well, let's see what else follows these. I wonder if it locks me. If I click this, I'm only going to have these options next, or will I have this next time? But let's see what else. Brazen Manor. For seven seconds after saluting her adversaries, Jadariel deals an additional 10 fire symbol to the adversary's pyre. Crushing heal. When landing from a jump, Chidariel briefly stuns nearby adversaries, making them drop the orb. Chidariel permanently gains four presence. 
Raising the size of her aura. I like that. At the start of a righteous Jerry automatically gains 35. Any adversaries banished by Jadario take 30% longer than usual to return. Jadario can banish adversaries by flinging the orb into them. I like... Uh, this. Because... I like this one, I like... That one. Oh. I don't like this one, but I like these three. I'm gonna take this one first. The demon scribe bestows his favor. That's it. No one else gets uh, special skills. After the rites, the accusers disappear into the darkness. As you return to the wagon, in the still night sky, you see a single star burns brighter than the rest, beckoning you forward. Alright. <clears throat> I think we're going to call it there. This is going to be uh, the end of the episode. Pals. So... Yeah, I'm going to end the episode off here. Oh, man, I hope there was an autosave there. <laughs> but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching Pyre. I am Lazy Bones, and see you on the next episode. Actually, yeah, see you on the next episode. Oh, man, I really hope there's a uh, an autosave there. All right, bye.